All right, we have a, an, another Group E match. We have Dan8116 versus Will. Now, Dan did get hit, get a match into Bronze Bracket, but didn't really make it that far. But hoping to see that we see less rage quitting and... Well, I don't know if they rage quit that time. But a little bit of progress from Dan. As you can see, he's doing some stairs, it seems like. Now, doesn't get the transition because, like I said, if you're going to do stairs, you need to make sure you know how to transition when you hit the wall because that's going to be a cheating chain higher here and throwing everyone else out for a loop. Um, but of course, didn't really get it. But it seems that Will also made a mistake and cut his chain, cut their chain, so they will be a little bit of a disadvantage here. Um, but if Dan can just get like a decently sized chain here, he will be on the running for a nice point here. A power 2 does seem to help him. And if he can get that yellow to connect and call him 1 through 2, that might be his ticket into actually securing this point. But chooses to cover it up with the red and green instead. Further solidifying that he is still safe though. Okay. I see another... If Dan's kind of hesitating here, he doesn't need to do that. Also made the little bit of a correct... Kind of made a mistake there as well. Does need to get the greens in column 4, but is getting covered right now. A lot, th a lot of hesitation from Dan coming off right now. Ooh. All Dan needed to do was match those yellows in the center of the board, but just chose not to do it. Uh, and that's gonna get Will to get his first point there. Gravity, nice point from Will, but a lot of hesitation from Dan, so he needs to cut down the hesitation if you want to get some points off Will here. Because like we've seen like like we've seen in the past with the gold bracket, um, if you're gonna be an unsafe chainer, you gotta not hesitate and think fast. Now then. Let's see. Dan does meet the wall here, but unfortunately doesn't really seem to be sorting up his stairs to the correct degree here. Does just get a just clear his yells to access the rest of the stairs here, but could have actually transitioned a little bit here. But didn't really seem like whoop, never mind, he did need to because Will actually did get their chain off. And does just top out here as they know that they're a little bit behind here. Strong lead for Will for a 2-0. Dan just needs to pick up the pace and not um, hesitate all so much against Will here. And I think they will be doing much better than they are. And probably could just learn how to transition as well. But that's just going to have to be a part of their journey. That I cannot provide at this time. Um, will seems to get on the 4 chain off. Um, does Dan match that? Does not seem so. It does match it, but the power does not line up exactly. A lot of the same color being wasted on column 2 here. An all clear chain for Will, followed by an all clear attack from Will. Hate to see it, but love when you get to do it. So, strong lead for Will as it's 3-0 right now. Dan really just needs to pick up the pace here, and really just needs to find out how to do a transition with those stairs because it's not going to look good if you can't just attack Will here. And once again, another all clear from Will. So Will does have the space and freedom to just chain freely here, but shouldn't get too overly confident about it. As Dan did just get a 4 chain, probably got a little bit too cocky there, and he's not going to be able to get these all clear. Okay, so Dan kind of shut him out there, which is good for him. And now we both get the all clear from both players. So, Dan opting to use his stairs at the center of the board, not the not the play I would have made, but it is a play to make um, with varying various results. A nice response from Dan getting a two chain to Will's one chain, but Will does have a backup as he as they did just kind of prepared for it. Saw Dan didn't have much to room to um, chain there, or rather they had the room, but they just chose not to use it. 
but that's going to be Will's fourth point here. Dan needs to really catch up. More stairs from Dan. Love to see it. But you also need to... But I also love to see some uh, transitions going on here at some point. The stairs themselves look pretty good as they are, but it seems like when they hit the wall, they just set it off instead of trying to go upwards. So you don't like hit, don't really get to hit the well. Um, the five chain will be enough to stop Will for a little bit, but won't be enough to actually secure him the point here. Um, will seems to be getting a little bit cocky with his placements here. Okay, power five for Will here. That's going to be Will's fifth point on the board here. Dan still struggling to get a transition here, so he's going to have to chain faster or get like a rush down on Will, so that way Will will have to respond to his attack, but obviously Will is a strong player, so... Unsafe, but they are pretty strong. Once again, Dan just not getting, not really opting to get pieces to transition with. Easy transition that he, that he is just throwing out here. Could be a development from Dan right here. Tried to get a transition going, but just didn't get the pieces in his favor, it seems. But of course, with the lack of transitions, it will put Dan at a massive disadvantage, giving giving Will the point here. 6-1, to one, Will's favor. Match point right here. Looks like... My Wi-Fi turned back on, but I will test it out later, because <laughs> we have a match point here. Gonna be a 5 chain from Dan, but we'll be able to match that. Not gonna be an all clear, but it will be a 9 chain. Very nice play from Will and good try to Dan regardless. Both appreciate players for giving me such a great match to watch.